This is a demonstration of the Pacha Sphere Grid Creator. So the way it works is a lot of times we'll want to have a array of spheres or other geometry to check for vibration. So what we'll do is you always have to have a geometry that you've made ahead of time, an OBJ uh, in Maya or the like, and we'll just make a regular sphere here. And then it's going to have, in this case, the default is three rows, three columns, distance between 3D models would be five units, and we just hit create. And there are our spheres. And, of course, it centers it at the camera, uh, in front and behind the camera there. Now, after you make them, you can scale it uh, differently than the size in the OBJ. So right here we've got 0.6. And then, of course, you can take any of these and translate them over or rotate them. Let's take a look in F6. So you can make adjustments after the fact. And then also, of course, there's a alpha channel controller. And show polygons can be on or off, just like in the regular attribute editor for equalizer. Now, normally you'll want to have more than this, and it starts getting a little bit slow uh, when you have a big quantity. Uh, so in the future, we'll have a bake button. So let's put in uh, 10 and 10. And park at frame one, and we'll create. And it's going to take a moment for them to come up here. Okay, so let's see how that looks. Okay, so we've got an array, and then we can make them smaller as needed. And they all show up as grid 3D models here in the browser. And you can put them for an object group or for a camera group. So when you start having 100 models, which you'll have with 10 by 10, then uh, it can get a little slow. And like I said, the next version will have a bake button. So it'll end up being just a single uh, OBJ file basically inside of equalize so it'll be faster. So in the past we'd make up these arrays inside of Maya and then import them in but it's a little bit faster to just have a tool inside of equalizer that does everything for you. So let's try even smaller scale. Again this could be any, it doesn't have any OBJ, it doesn't have to be a sphere, it could be a kitty cat, it can be a rectangle uh, box, whatever you want. Okay, again, okay and now we've got an array. One other issue that you can run into with the 3D model grid creator is that if you've got a value of let's say 10 and 10, it'll create one a large number of polygons, in this case 100, and you'll end up here with big heavy models. And these in the equalizer will really slow you down loading and just navigating. So the solution to this is to bake it out. In the future we'll have a bake button, but what you can do right now that works just as well is to select all these spheres, you know, position the way you want them. And then you go here to 3D models. You export a 3D model as OBJ. And then as after you export it, then you can bring it back in as a single OBJ, which I've done here. So there's just a single file where it's all baked. So it's as if it came from Maya as a single one. And so then we can take all of these guys here, and we can actually not only uh, hide them, but we can probably want to delete them so it doesn't slow us down. Oh, yeah, it's actually 1,000, not 100, because it's 100 cubed. So anyway, so there's a baked version. You can see there's 122,000 points in it. So, But this is actually quite manageable, uh, whereas the having 1,000 uh, models is sort of a mess that's really heavy and cumbersome in equalizer. In addition, you can take this script here and right click and you can change the path. So if we look at this, we'll see that there's a path here that comes in default for where the geometry is going to be. But if you're working, you know, in a different facility, that path could change. So what we can do here is we can go to that line of code in the Python just by right clicking and then you can change the path here just put in um, quotation marks in the path and then it'll default to a new path for you.